hello guys hope you had a good day so today's video uh is going to uh, we're going to look at how to export an stl image from freecad for rendering in blender so uh last time i was using an object our front image uh, that doesn't bring out uh, it doesn't bring out a good image uh, that's why we're going to use a uh, still uh, file format today so uh, let me go ahead and open uh, this part uh, this was designed in the last video example i'll link it uh, to this uh, video so you can see we designed our mold now what we want to do is uh, export this as a, an STL uh, image so we can import it in Blender uh, for purposes of rendering. So what we are going to do is, uh, let's first go back to part design. So if you go to edit preferences and then import export, uh, you'll see that the last option we have under preferences is a step. This is for the step uh, file format. Uh, but in order to fine tune how smooth the STL image is, uh, we need to adjust uh, some parameters uh, on the output of the STL image. So what you're going to do to get the option uh, to make those changes on the STL image you have to click on uh, this option and select mesh design. Once you do that, go to edit, go to preferences, and then go to import export. And you can see this time we have uh, another option coming in, which is mesh format. So what you do under this is uh, you adjust the maximum mesh division so this actually increases on the number of triangles that are actually generated in your image uh, for purposes of rendering so the more the triangles the smoother the image so if you have a good graphics card uh, you can go ahead and change this to 0 0.10 uh, millimeters and then click apply and then okay then what you're going to do is you go back to model view click on your body select file select export and then make sure you're selecting an stl mesh select that and then uh i'll just select it as a mold example and click save uh, once that has finished saving, then we can go into uh, Blender. Uh, when you open Blender, just delete out that, delete out the camera, and then go to File, Import, and then select STL. Then what you're going to do is once that, uh, let me go ahead and get that file real quick here. Hold on, where did I save it? Hold on. Okay, here it is, a mold example. So let me go ahead and import it. So this is the file. So I went into my folder and here's the STL file and go ahead and import it. Uh, let's zoom out make sure we can see it okay so this is our image so we can look at it very smooth so what we are going to do is after we have this image uh, we are going to add a camera and then you're going to press ctrl alt and zero so once we do that, uh, we have our camera view. So what you're going to do is you're going to press S. Uh, actually, what you're going to do is, uh, let's press this, uh, the move uh, operation, 
click on our object i use these arrows to actually move our image within the camera view this is okay uh let's uh make it a little bigger by pressing s and then dragging so let's make sure it's not all that big that's okay then we can move it up to there so we have our mold in camera view so the next step is going to be uh, rendering now like i indicated in the previous video i use uh, a radeon card and i use a uh, radeon pro render in blender this is mainly quick quick steps so you could have a a rendered image uh, as fast as you can but you can always go ahead and use a, a different rendering engine so in this step uh, what we're going to do is we shall click on render properties and then you can use cycles if you know how to use that but i normally use uh, radeon pro render select radeon pro render then go down to quality change that to high then uh, go down to film sort of color management color management and make sure you have filmic uh, selected and then uh, what you can do is you can also change uh, the look to uh, medium high contrast medium contrast medium low contrast uh, let's go ahead and select medium high contrast so those are the changes you need. Uh, you don't actually need any more changes on uh, radiant settings. So uh, the other thing you have to do, uh, let me go back to this. Uh, let me go back to this rendering step. So the other thing you have to do is sometimes if you really need a crystal clear image, you have to increase on the numbers of samples. Uh, I'll go ahead and double this to 256 samples. Then uh, we shall go down uh, to material properties. Uh, if you're using uh, uh, AMD Pro Render, it actually gives you an option of different materials. Now, since we are dealing with metal, I'll go ahead and select extended metal. Click on the material I want. I can say uh, I'll take uh, brushed copper. And then click on copper textures. And then click on import. And then click on render and select render image. Let me bring this in, in view so you can see that. Uh, this is our rendered image. Let me actually close this and I show it under this. I think it will be better. So this is our rendered image. So click render, wait, and that's it. So this was designed in FreeCAD, imported in Blender, and rendered using ProRender. So we can actually change our material to something else for example uh, I can change this to we can say gold paint import we go to render render image and there we are let's wait for it to finish to render and there we are we can also change it to the other one I like is metals uh, gun metal import render render image so that's it so that's how you can actually export an STL from uh, FreeCAD and then render it in Blender. And then after this, you could export uh, your image uh, 
under image servers and then you could uh, export your file so we can just call here mold and we save it as a png there we, are. we already have our image rendered all right thank you for watching and have a good day